Oh dear god, enough with the freaking editing with the audio glitches. I'm sorry, but these next two parts are going to be post-commentary. Uh, you, I, I can't even show you guys how much of a pain it was editing the last part with uh, Audacity's screwage of uppage, and I don't really want to continue doing that arduous process. So, I'm just gonna do some post commentary. I hope you guys don't mind, but if you do, I honestly don't really care because this is a huge pain. So, yeah, hopefully this will be the only post commentary video I'll ever have to do in my life. But, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I won't be as funny or as entertaining as, as I usually am because I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in the footage, per se. So, for example, I have no idea where I'm going right now, but uh, you can just watch the past me put on his bunny hood and go do his thing, as as he tends to do. So, oh, we're going to be going to use the couple's mask, I guess. We're going to follow Ingo into the mayor's residence there. Yeah, the mayor's residence, and he's walking with his hands behind his back. So, you can do this after you finish the Andre Cafe side quest. Come on in here, you'll see they're having a big old debate. And this is actually the one and only use for the couple's mask, unfortunately. I mean, after all that build-up, you would think it would be some huge, like, game-breaking thing, but nope, just for one heart piece. So, yeah, if you want to read that, yeah, be my guest. Be my guest. Oh, well, that guy's got the most ridiculous voice in my mind, and this guy sounds like. Uh, who should he sound like? Who should Mustache Man sound like? Mort? No, not Morgan Freeman. Someone like Little Richard, maybe? You want answers? <laughs> the answer is it. I can't even. <laughs> That's the end. I. <laughs> end of that imitation. I can't go any farther. This guy doesn't even have any eyes. How do you think you're supposed to debate stuff when you have no eyes, buddy? Like, I don't understand how you can even see that the moon is right above you when all you have are shadows instead of eyes. I don't understand how that works. Also, the mayor has a cow on his desk. So, so pretty much essentially what the, the carpenters, which are these mustachioed fine fellows here, are saying is that they want to go through with a carnival because they've worked so hard and then then the moon isn't a big deal, it's not anything to worry about. And the soldiers are saying, no, we need to evacuate the people. We need to evacuate everyone so that we can save their lives because the moon's going to crash down and kill everyone. And uh, so they're not getting anywhere because the mayor just is an indecisive punk. So you put on the couple's mask and talk to him and... What a young, what a nice reminder, so a young couple has been married! At last, we are married. So, <laughs> nobody's gonna get that reference, and that's a shame. Oh well. But Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that is for the people to decide on their own. The end of argument number one. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that poikish bickering. Adults are so stubborn, it is shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. And that's the only use for the couple's mask. I want to protect my wife. So that's going to be his voice for the rest of eternity. That's, that's the kind of voice I imagine him having... I don't know where to go. I don't know where I'm going now. We'll just have to see where exactly I'm going. Looks like I took a minute to, to think there. It took a second. I don't know, but I just I just felt like doing this. I just got it out of music class. That's why I, I made the Little Richard reference there. He's ridiculous. He is very, very ridiculous with his falsetto of ridiculousness. He's, uh, it's actually pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, 50s rock is not that bad, if I'm gonna be honest. If I'm gonna be completely honest, it's actually, you know, kinda good. I like 60s, 70s, and 
90s and modern rock. Not so much uh, 80s, not so much 80s, but uh, the other decades I like more. I think my top, my top choices would be 60s and 90s, probably, for rock. That would be my choice for best rock. I don't know why I got out so much money. Oh, I think it's because I wanted to keep playing this game, and I didn't know how many times I would fail. So I just got out 500 because you really don't need it anymore. Like, if you save up 5,000 rupees for that heart piece, you really just don't need to, to save your money anymore. You'll have enough for pretty much anything you want to do. So, let's go. What is this, the first day? Okay. So this is one of those games that you have to do once on each of the three days. It is the Deku Playground, and it's a time limit game. Kind of like the, the Honey and Darling type of deal, except you can only do this as a Deku scrub. So put on your Deku mask, and essentially what this is, is hop on the platforms and collect all the rupees. And if you fall onto the floor, then you have to start over and pay 10 rupees again. So you have... I think you said a minute and 15 seconds to do all this, and I think I remember getting this in the first try, I believe. Don't quote me, but we'll find out. I think I got the first and second ones on the first try, and then the other, or the third one, I might have had to do it two or three times, but I don't really remember. But you just get a heart piece for this, so yeah, that's all there is to it. I don't know why there's green and blue rupees, I mean... It doesn't... like, you're not actually collecting the money. For example, if you pick up a green rupee here, you won't get one rupee added to your wallet, I think. I'll have to check after. But I'm pretty sure that it's just like, I don't know, a marker for you to collect. So it's pretty much just land on each platform and then you will get the rupee, so... Eh. But that's... yeah, first try, there you go. It's all over! So I did that 58 seconds, which is 17 seconds less than the time limit, which is good. So you got purple rupee. In the first two days, you just get money for it. Really not important, but if you win all three days, you get that RP. So we'll, we'll be going back there eventually. For now, we're going to be doing some other heart piece things. And I don't know why I just took off my mask. I have to... Actually, can I just hop out of there with my money? I don't know. I don't know. But yes, I hope Audacity doesn't mess up again. Audacity is really just kind of a screwy program at times. Sometimes the audio quality is just terrible. Like in that first Mario Hack video I made, it was the sensitivity. I don't know if that's a microphone or Audacity, but it was just kind of blaring. Like, you know, that kind of feedback noise, and I don't know why it was just standing there with that feedback noise and all that annoying jazz. So I guess we're going to be doing the the Deku, what are they called, Akindo Nuts, I think? We're going to be doing the Akindo Nut side quest. And I think I actually explained that in the last video. You have to have access to everything up to Iconic Canyon. And you need the Moon's Tear to start the whole process. And you get a heart piece for each time you do it. You also need to be wearing the mask of the race of the previous area you were just in. So if you're trying to sell the ocean title deed, you're gonna be you're gonna want to have the Zora mask on. If you're selling the mountain title deed, you want to be a Goron. All that stuff. So he flies away. He turned to a Deku scrub, and then, of course, we already got the heart piece for this area, which was. Uh, the very first one we got, which is pretty much necessary. Although well, you can't just walk right around it, but it's that heart piece that's right there in front of the clock tower. But now we're going to go ahead and go over to the swamp. And our next kingdom that, if you remember, is right outside the photo shooting gallery building. So, not what, yeah, Southern Swamp, you want to go there. And, let's see. For, I think... Yeah, if you're a Deku scrub when you talk to this guy, he sells you Deku nuts, I think. But if you're a normal Link, he will trade you for the 
the land title deed, and I don't know why I'm playing the Song of Double Time here. I'm really not sure why I'm playing the Song of Double Time here. But I guess I'll find out. I'm sorry, I probably should have rehearsed this since I'm doing post-commentary and all, but I just don't even care. I'm sorry. Like, I'm doing this to save some time, because I have to write an essay, not an entire essay, but about a page and a half, which isn't really a big deal at all, but... Now here... What was I trying to do? I was trying to do something. I think I might have been trying to get to the Deku Palace to get the picture of the king. Because if you turn it into the... You know, blow me, I'll see, mate! That guy here in the building above us, he gives you a heart piece as well. So I think that's what I was trying to go for here. You can't just kill that that Octorok with an arrow. The only problem is that this water is poisonous. Not yet, but it will be. So it's like, oh, maybe if I go around... I can avoid the poison water, but it's actually also poisonous on that side. So, that's unfortunate. And, yeah, I just didn't want to go through the whole... What's it called? Lost Woods dealy again. Just wanted to get started, so... I don't know why I'm killing that Octorok. Or, I'm not killing the Octorok. Okay. Yes. There you go. Well, I just pierced this little ball of death with my arrow. I see how it is. Might. I see how it is. Yes, ma'am. See so, yeah, how the poison water starts right there. If you're Zora Lank, you can just run right through. It's not a big deal. Especially when you have double resistance to damage. Not. Like, all that just took a heart and a quarter. Out of 12 hearts. Not a big deal. So... It's worth it. Yeah, so... Of course you have to be a Deku to get in here in the first place. So... Go ahead and put that mask on so that they actually let you in. Those pricks. Yeah. And then you want to take your pictograph box out and take a picture of the king. Or the butler. Whichever one you prefer, I think both, either one will give you the heart piece, but I think I took it of the actual king himself. Good old kingy. And that was a terrible picture. I don't know why it waits 10 minutes for the loading to finish. But as you can see, it's like a Polaroid. You have to wait 10 minutes before you can actually see what you took. It's kind of funny. So, just take a picture, whatever the hell you want. And... I need to stop doing that noise. That, that annoys me when I go back and watch the recording. I feel like I do it every five seconds on some videos. On other videos, I just never do it, so... And if you want to save time, you can just warp back to the southern swamp so that you don't have to wade through the poison water again. I'm not sure if I actually did that or not. See if I did. Come on, yes! Looks like I did. Looks like I did. Do -do -do. So, we actually don't have too much of the game left to go. I've been practicing the next dungeon area, so I should be able to do that pretty flawlessly. Unlike. Unlike Great Bay Temple. Very much unlike Great Bay Temple. Which wasn't too bad, except for the boss, of course. Then I just screwed everything up. I don't really care. But whatever. So now that we have both things we want to do in this area, go ahead and talk to Mr. Akindo Nut Traveling Salesman. You can actually see the heart piece up above there. And this will be about it for this part. And I'm going to forget how to do that. But this will be about it for this part. Uh, the next part will also be post-commentary, so I apologize for that, but get used to it. Or not get used to it, but just deal with it for this, these two parts, at the very least, so. Anyway, I give him the land title deed, and he lets you use the deck of flower, and also gives you the swamp title deed, which we will use in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you then.
Dude, my adios. Death Mountain wants to be in the background like Slender Man. And yeah, all right, whatever. Bye. He said, would you kindly subscribe?